will be securing her against Yuka Pero Sochikiron. Most people say that he is the absolute best Axel player in, well, Japan that is. I believe he's probably one of the best uh, Axel player in the world, so I'm really looking forward to his participation today. And uh, yeah, we're basically gonna see what happens. Let me just update the name of it, because it's not the grand final, obviously. So, here we go, Tigiran san against Yuka Pero san. Yuka Pero san, a uh, Kai player, actually. So, Kai, we don't see them very often in tournaments recently. Which is uh, a little bit surprising, because definitely, well, uh, Kai did get both recently. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to see how Yuka Pero san is going to, uh, to, well, to manage uh, this matchup right here. And here we go, a very quick first round taken by Tigiran san, as expected from him. Extremely well played by him. And here we go. Uh, so Yuka Pero san is having some problems managing this storm that is the offense of Yuka Pero of uh, Tigiran. I am just going to make a small, just some really quick uh, changes to the <laughs> rewards that people may have forgot to have. Plus the rewards for the cyborg and Sayama because it changes my voice as well. So there we go, first round goes, well, first match goes to Tikaran, it was a quick first match. We'll see how stuff goes later on, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, Yuka Pero san is going to find ways to, um, uh, well, to basically, um, to basically weather the storm here. We'll see how it goes. And, just one second real quick. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, yes, we're good. Okay, we're good, perfect, I'm sorry for the wait. Oh, there we go, so a very quick dash from dash from... Can everyone start? So I just, uh, hopped in the stream. Um, so if in your tunnel chat there's no uh, directive saying that your match is streaming, yes, you may start. As long as you don't have any directives in your uh, chat that says that your match is streaming, you can always start your match, don't worry. Until you get to semi-finals, that is. Well, semi-finals and, uh, yeah, semi-finals. Exactly. So, yes, you may start your match. Go the match. Okay, here we go. And, uh, here we go with Tikiran san again. Proceeding to anti-airing Yuka Pero san. Yuka Pero san having a lot of problems just really getting in. It's, uh, yeah, it's a uh, but then again, his opponent is Tikiran san. It's not your usual run in the mill, uh, not your usual run in the mill, um, uh, Axel player, that's for sure. And here we go, okay, a big overdrive, just let it spread. It actually caught Tikaran san out of the air very nicely done by, uh, by Yukapero san. And here we go, but yeah, the conversion from Tikaran, uh, a very quick second match as well. Let's see if we're going to see some sort of adjustment from, uh, from, uh, well, from, um, from Yuka Pero san Hopefully you will. We shall see. And here we go on to the potential final match of this encounter. Hopefully for, uh, Tikaran, uh, not Tikaran, for uh, Yuka Pero san he's going to be able to find some sort of, you know, way to reverse the flow of the, of the battle, but right now it's on favor of Tikaran. As expected from him, here we go to rain water from Tikaran san catches the uh, dash from Yuka Pero. Yuka Pero very nicely done. The hardy part of the guy player is run and grab. And for now it's working wonders for him. <laughs> oh, here you go. You caught Tikaran some sleeping right there. He tried to bait the burst, but Tikaran not biting there. He was extremely patient and that worked out for him in his favor. He was able not to get hit. How long does it? I'm sorry, it, it lasts for 10 minutes. <laughs> I forgot to turn off the, um, I forgot to turn off the, uh, the, the, what's called the, uh, the point uh, reward for this one. So 10 minutes, and uh, then nobody will be able to, uh, to take it, to, to make it, to take it again, the, the point reward. So don't worry, bear with me just a little bit more. I promise it's not going to, uh, it's not going to last much longer. I'm sorry, Nemas. <laughs> Okay, here we go, a quick first uh, round from the third uh, match for Tikiran san. <laughs> Cyborg boy, shake my head. Exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really wish, you know, I, I thought about like getting rid of the, uh, not rid, but uh, 
Oula, what's going on with my... What the hell? What's going on with my... Sorry. Yeah, for some reason... My... <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why did it... Why did it... Uh, what? What the hell? Okay, for some reason... My... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll solve this problem. A lot of technical issues today, what the hell? <laughs> What the hell is going on? Thank you very much for the follow, Takati4, and welcome to the Brojo. Okay, I'm gonna solve this problem real, real quick once uh, once these two have finished their uh, their match. I don't know why uh, it did it did like this. I'm supposed to be borderless window, but uh, apparently my my game said no, you will not. And here we go with the big overdrive, and Yuka Pedro should be able to. Yeah, catch uh, Tigeran out of it. Wow, he couldn't get the conversion, unfortunately. This is unfortunate. Okay, here we go with the 2HS from Yucapelo. Is he gonna be able to take one? Oh, almost there! Tigeran still super freaking extremely patient, man. It's crazy. The patience of this man. And here we go, finally, Yucapelo. Oh, and Tigeran tried. Oh, and she managed to take it. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. This time around, we are moving on to the next to the next battle. It's going to be I for Gorsan. Unfortunately, I do not know which uh, country this individual comes from because he does not provide us with this information. But he is playing chip, so we will see how this will go. So I for Gorsan playing chip against the legend Daru Ino. It's definitely not an easy first matchup by any means, but we have witnessed a lot of miracles during well, this tournament, so it wouldn't be surprising if we actually uh, see one during this tournament as well. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. And both opponents letting the uh, intro rip. Very, very classy. And here we go. Oh, and immediately the start of the round with the 6 HS from Darwin. He catches whatever I forgot tried to uh, French press. Here we go with I forgot with the jumping 2S. Oh, 2K, I'm okay, sorry. Finds the opponent, the, the opening, and even manages to get Darino to use his, uh, well, his, um, what's it called, his, uh, his, uh, burst. Very nicely done. Here we go, Darino trying to, oh my lord, I forgot, completely going ham. Oh my lord, an opening again. Uh, okay, finally, Darino finds an opponent. Oh, he even baits the... YRC, this is huge. Okay, you only have no, almost there. Ah, oh, that was so close. Oh my lord, my lord, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? I think there's a lot of uh, of lag. There might be a lot of lag. <laughs> Very nicely done by Darino. Hmm. Okay, we go on to the next battle. Let's see how it goes. Oh, very nicely done. Nice. Nice maneuver right there from Darino. He managed to get out of the corner. And here we go with Darino. Going for the optimized combos. He gets the wall break. Very nicely done. Things are looking pretty good for him. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that was... Okay, here we go with the Alpha Blade. Oh, my lord. Very nice. Extremely nicely done by Darino. Ah, oh, but unfortunately he gets swept by the Twitch hits right there. Oh my lord, I forgot not afraid of just not afraid of just running straight and pressing buttons right there. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of lag right there. Yeah. Ooh, okay, very nicely done by Darino manages to take the first round by the skin of his T tab. Actually, this is this was a very uh very very tight uh first set, actually. I do suspect there's a little bit of lag between both of them. It, because I saw Darino make some uh, pretty strange uh, decision, well, decisions basically, uh, to be quite frankly, which was uncharacteristic from him. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And I hope here you we go. <clears throat> On to the next battle. Hopefully, the. Bonsoir, trashback, ça va bien. Comment vas-tu? This is unfortunate. Yeah, this, there's probably a lot of lag between both of them. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Okay, here we go, but still, Darino manages to wow, get the optimal combo, he even baits the DP, and he, is he gonna get the... Okay, he got it still. Very nicely done by Darino. 
Ça va très très bien, on est là, on fait. On fait, on fait avec. <rire> ok, here we go with Darino using the uh, heavy stroke right there. Very nicely done. Gets the optimized combo. He gets the wall splat. Oh my lord, and the walk of, of, of shame, I'd say. But it's not shame, the walk of fame, man. Oh my lord, very, very well done. What was the room code? Uh, the room code. Uh, is your match streamed? Verinho? Are you Sunter? And the second match goes to Darino as well. Ah, you're Sunter. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll send it to you later. It's not, it's not, I'll send it to you later. I'd rather wait a bit uh, and send it to you after the match is over so I have a little bit of time to to update the credentials and everything, if you don't mind. Mon français examen est demain, je suis très stressé. Ah bah ça c'est normal. Mais bon, ça va aller. Si t'as bien révisé, normalement tu devrais pas avoir de problème. And here we go with Daru in opening his opponent right away. Alright, no worries, it's okay. No worries, man. Okay, here we go with Daru. Ino again. Oh, and this was a bad DP from me. Merci, Ken. Je t'en prie. From Ifergore, unfortunately, was forced to DP right there. Oh, and the big 2H is countered right there. He's gonna get. Oh, he almost got a full conversion, but still good enough. He's gonna get the wall splat. Here we go with. Oh my lord, and just let the DP rip. <gasps> and the conversion! <laughs> How does he convert it so freaking often? This should do. Well played by Darurino. Extremely. Tonight's tournament, it's going to be Megu against Zeej. And unfortunately, I didn't activate the flag of Megu. I'm going to do it right away. And just like this, we have started the match. It is uh, Megu against Zeej. So, uh, Ram Lethal Megu against Nagoriyuki Zeej. Go Megu is so strong, so talented. Indeed, they are. But Zeej is definitely not to be trifled with. As you can see, he managed to pull off the overdrive into the hard knockdown. He even got the low, but was able to convert and continue his onslaught. But here we go with Zeej still, he had a bar of tension and manages to take it with an inst- Well, it's not really instant, but a quick dust right there. Really well played from Zeej. Here we go, start of the round with the DP followed by the clone. Here we go with Megu, definitely not. Oh, here we go, very nice, he found the opening. He, they found the opening, but wasn't quite confident that they were going to get the follow-up. Oh, here we go with Zeej again, finding his way. Uh, in the air to open Megu up, but just as I say this, Megu manages to bring the heat with their Ram Lethal. Let's see if they can continue in this way. Okay, very nice. Here we go. We get the purple, two purple uh, room cancel actually, and with the uh, throw, not quite enough to kill with the underground. Oh, but still, thanks to the conversion of the explosion of her blade, they were able to take it. So, one round apiece, we have eight match let's see how it goes but yeah things are looking pretty uh tough for megu they do have a burst and thanks to the very far reach of their jumping uh hs they managed to open up z to probably try to inspire her i suppose but that being said here we go now the roles are reversed and the standing s of megu manages to catch the uh, startup of the uh beyblade oh here we go with <laughs> both using uh, the Roman cancel to uh, make their dashes and back dashes uh, safe, basically. Okay, but Zeej does have a slight advantage, even though he doesn't have burst, though. So, yeah, it's pretty much even. But, yeah, as you can see, the chip damage are adding up right there. But, oh my lord, Zeej is not afraid of pressing a button. Is this going to suffice? I believe it is not. Here we go with Zeej continuing his onslaught. He's probably going to try to use a lot of special... Oh, actually, he can't anymore because the momentum has shifted. Here we go back to neutral. If there is such a thing as neutral between a Ram and a Nagoriki player, I do not know. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the 4K and Zeej is on the verge of taking it. It's still anybody's game, to be quite honest, but Zeej does have one bar of tension, which he immediately pops and used the quick dust to 
get the first match. Very nicely done by Zij. Extremely convincing display of his Nagoriyuki. Uh, well, his Nagoriyuki um, knowledge, basically. Very nicely done by him. Takes the first match, but it's definitely not over till it's over. We will be uh, just having... What am I trying to say? <laughs> it's not over till it's over. We we basically need uh, to see what is going on later on because it's definitely not. Yeah, it's definitely not over till it's over. Anyways, here we go with the quick burst of Zij. He was forced to do so thanks to Megu's extremely talented uh, use of of, of Ram's uh, neutral control. Here we go. The overdrive into the hard knockdowns. Gonna. Oh, here he goes, Zeech has to take a D, but here we go with the empty jump into the grab. Very nicely done by Megu, caught Zeech sleeping a bit there. But yeah, the down S, the two S's from Nagoriki, the thing that most people hate, probably the most. Well, maybe not, but a very strong and powerful, uh, well, strong and powerful, or synonyms, but a very strong move it is. And just like this, Zeech is going to get... He will splat into the overdrive, into the hard knockdown, into you eat my Okizeme, sir. You do not have a choice. Oh, but he's trying to, uh, yeah, just run up and block. Perhaps uh, he was definitely um, expecting a wake up overdrive from Megu. Okay, here we go. So very, oh, and the ram slam from Megu, the trademark of this player here. Megu loves to use a ram slam. As I'm just saying this, Megu continues using it. Yeah, but if you, like, chances are if Megu has a bar, she will try to ram slam you. Here you go, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I know Megu for, with the back of my hands, and just like this, Megu actually manages to take the second match extremely quickly. Very nicely done by Megu, but honestly, it's anybody's game. Zij definitely, uh, well, basically displayed a very strong, um, a very strong Nagoriyuki as well. So it's definitely anybody's game. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for your tournament. Good night. Thanks, Lady Scribe. Oh, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you next time as well. You have a good night, Lady Scribe. Wow, indeed, a ghost fucker. <laughs> how you doing, man? And here we go on to the third match. Yeah, Megu definitely ran a freaking train. A freaking truck on Zij in the previous match. Let's see if Zij is capable of adjusting and finding openings on his own. Oh, very nice recognition from Zij that he could grab in between. Uh, I think, I believe it was the standing S into the 6HS probably it was. And Zij just, yeah, definitely just going there and grabbing people in, in their block screen. And here we go, Megu making the best out of the blood uh, explosion, blood burst from uh, from uh, from Zij. Oh, here we go, yeah. Megu maneuvering around Zij's specials, but yeah, here we go, Zij finally finding an opponent. Oh, an opening. Yeah, he really has a hard time like pinning Megu where he wants. Oh, okay, this should be a lot. Yeah, this should do a lot of damage. Probably not gonna kill. Oh, it's gonna kill. Yeah, this is ah. It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. Yeah, no question that. Very nicely done by Zij. Takes the second round of this match. This is anybody's game. I am reminding you that both have one match right now. This is really crucial for momentum and for the mental to for one of these players to take this match right here. Ah, and yeah, Megu really doing a good job of just maneuvering around the, the supers of uh, the, the special attacks from, uh, from of, of Zeke, basically. And here we go, Megu with the hard knockdown is going to get a no-key right there and baits the burst, but unfortunately it was the gold burst, so slightly harder, well, actually a lot harder to punish than the blue one. And here we go with Megu making a very good job of mixing their op options up and eventually manages to take the third match as well really well played from megu it's not over yet there's still one more uh match between these two to go for uh them to determine who is the victor let's see who is going to be able to take it we shall see we shall see we shall see okay moving on to the potential final round of this encounter right there
Here we go. And red there. Both opponents taking into the air. Probably wary of the opponent's characters. Uh, well, large variety of uh, of far-reaching normals on the ground. Very nice 6P red there from uh, Zij. Doesn't cause the burst from Megu though. Megu definitely holding on to their burst right there. Probably aware or... Not aware, but definitely probably wary that uh, Zij was uh, going to try to bait it. And really, YRC from Zij catches uh, Megu standing up right there. Couldn't get quite a conversion because he wasn't in the second level of blood, I believe. Okay, here we go. And Megu on the verge of taking. This is gonna do, yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Megu on match point right now. Is Zij going to be able to adjust and bring it back? Oh. And the uh, wake, oh my lord, Yo Kizme, just the command grab for the wake up, very nicely done from Zij. He can allow himself to go a little bit ham now that most of his blood gauge has depleted, but unfortunate for him, Megu definitely on point on succeed, successfully catching Zij off guard during a, uh, well, during a Fukio, basically. He is reading the bite very well. Yeah, man, Zij is a master of the bite. Oh no, you mean Megu, yeah. Megu is definitely reading the bite as well. But Zij is doing a very nice job of uh Oh you're gonna just forward RC Oh my lord and Megu man just freaking running and you know against uh Jacko and both players are well both characters I don't know if we can characterize the uh, at uh, Jacko as a mix-up character. He's more of a zoning type of character, to be really honest, in this iteration of, uh, of uh, Guilty Gear. Here we go, Sunter trying to bait the burst real quick. Very nicely done right there. He killed the uh, the uh, minion as soon as it came out. Oh, very big dust from Yamase. He was able to bait the burst, but we couldn't quite get the jump to try to continue uh, the dust and punish, uh, therefore, Sunter for, for using the... for trying to use the burst. Here we go with Yamase using the... Wow, that was a crazy good combo right there. The mix it, yeah, this is definitely mix. <laughs> Very nicely done from Yamase. Using every tools in the book to try and open Sunter and successfully doing so. Very nicely done. Oh, here we go. Sunter on the verge of trying to, yeah, six speed uh, Yamase out of the airs. Okay, oh my lord, that combo was really, really, really crisp. Oh, okay, here we go with the grab and Yamase. He got Sunter exactly where he wants him. But thanks to the FD, Sunter could uh, push Yamase out of the range of the dust right there. And thankfully for him, he's going to get the overdrive combo. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's not dead by any means, but Yamase definitely on his last legs right there. And the grab for the win. That was really, really, really cheeky from Thun uh, Sunter, but it actually worked so. That, oh, very nice. Whiff punish right there. Couldn't quite get anything off of it, though. Here we go with... Yeah, Yamase putting their minion on the floor. And Sunter looking very good right there. Yamase finds the opening with the minion. Please football with them. Soccer, I'm sorry for your Americans. But we say football in French. And in everywhere else in the world. And here we go with the overdrive. This is going to do a lot of damage. This is going to kill. This is not going to kill, actually. Yeah. Very nicely done by, Sunt uh, by Yamase. Oh, and we're gonna wake up, burst the goal, burst, he's got it! Oh my lord, he was afraid that, yeah, he was definitely afraid that uh, Yamasu was gonna wake up with the super, that's why he backdashed. This is unfortunate, actually. Oh, again, the first match goes to Yamase Go, very nice, uh, very, very, very nice, um, how do you say it? Performance, performance, here you go. I'm losing my, my, my mind as well as my words. It was really nice performance from Yamase. Got the first, uh, he got the first, uh, although the first uh, match actually very nicely done. Let's see if Sunter is going to bring any sort of adjustment to try and eventually take it. Let's see. Here you go. Start of the round and the jumping K from Yamase picks and hits Sunter. Cross up, a very nice punish from Sunther right there, found the opening, but he immediately gets 5 HS. I believe this is the 5 HS, perhaps, or the 6 HS? Maybe the 6 HS, actually, this wouldn't quite surprise me. And this is the second time that Sunther actually uses the horizontal uh, dive of Eno to the sultry performance, I believe, uh, to, uh, well, to get rid of both the minion and to attack uh, Yamase 
both at the same time. Really well done. Here we go. He gets the oh the wall break, but yeah, I must say on, on point when it comes to uh to to whiff punishing and to uh oh my lord, very nice conversion. He's gonna get the overdrive. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill by any means, but gonna definitely bring it closer to home. Let's see if soon there. Oh bad. Oh my lord, even manages to use the minion to punish the. Uh, the descent from uh, from Eno. Oh, and here we go again. Sunter starting to feel a little bit predictable, I believe. I must say, definitely catching up on these uh, sultry performing attempts from Sunter. Here we go. The oh, the big conversion right there. And here you go. Good. Uh, very thankfully for Sunter, he had burst so he could get out of the pressure. Oh, and the, again, the 6HS counter, and this is gonna kill, man. This is gonna do very well done by Yamase. Extremely, with a perfect also. With a perfect, man. This is a big statement from Yamase. It takes it 2-0. There's still one more round, or one more match for, um, for Yamase to actually take it home. Let's see if he's capable of doing so. Very nice stuff from Yamase, extremely convincing. Follow, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. Okay, here we go, enough, enough chant. <laughs> here we go with the third match of this encounter. Will Yamase be able to take it or will Sunter will uh, find adjustments in order? Oh, and here we go, oh, my lord, and Yamase using the guard on their minion in order to nullify the... Uh, the stroke attempt from Sunter. This was really godlike, actually. I must say, really a very, very good, an extremely good man, an extremely good Jocko player. And he's gonna take it, actually. Oh, actually not. He can't get any OTG out of this one. Very nice IAD right there. Manages to take the uh, first round of this third match. If he takes this one, it's going to be game over for Sunter. He's, he'll be sent in the loser's bracket very nice use of the minions explosion in order to well basically make Sunther uh, aware of it and then successfully grabbing him here we go Sunther going a little bit ham right there you can probably feel a little bit of the desperation of him he definitely does not want to be sent in the losers right away and just like this very nice use of the sultry performance into the roman cancel and uh but yeah center did not successful and when it comes to actually getting these wall uh, breaks this is really unfortunate very nice stuff from him he's gonna get one minion in try to snaps it with a dust and eventually manages to take it with the onslaught three two first semi-final match of today well tonight actually of tonight it is tkrn against megu two titans axel versus ram let's go let's see how it goes KT Karen immediately trying to put some distance between him and Megu. Megu really, really well used the backdash right there. I don't know if it was intentional to try to bait the uh, the, the tech from uh, from Tikaran. And here we go with the Ram Slam finds it smart and did a huge amount of damage by the way. KT Karen trying to find it smart a little bit. Very nice 2 HS right there. Couldn't quite get anything out of it though because it was unblocked. Here we go, Megu ah, on the verge of getting dangered, and here we go, the Ram Slam is going to do a lot of damage. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Oh, this is... Ah, oh, this is not it, actually. Okay, that was really close for TKRN. Uh, oh, my lord, yeah. And here we go, with Megu trying to snipe. Oh, no, gets caught by the... Oh, that was unfortunate. Why didn't TKRN use... Oh, and the back... Jumping HS for the... Uh, that wasn't the HS, that was the S, actually, I believe. Yeah, man, this move is so good, it's so annoying. <laughs> this move is so annoying, and yeah, and TKRN does a good job of actually using it successfully. Here we go, the onslaught is here, TKRN. Yeah, trying to keep Ram in the corner. Here we go, no follow-up on this one. Uh, here we go, he found its mark. Roman Castle, this should be it, but unfortunately for him, he mistimed his uh, his 2S, but still, he found the opening. The first match goes to TKRN, very, very nicely done.
That was a quick first match, but still we should not count Megu out. Megu has been an astounding player up until now. Did a lot of extremely, extremely well in other iterations of the Brojo Cup, so I'm definitely looking forward to their um well their um how do you call it? Their performance today as well. Let's see how it fans out. Duel one. Okay, on to the next round of the next match. Let's see how it goes. Okay, back to neutral. Ooh, okay, very nicely done. Nice air to air by Megu. Managed to take Tigaran out of the air, but Tigaran back in neutral. Always good to see Jackal and yeah, and very, very un, un unusual as well. So it's always good to see, definitely. I concur, Chief Garden, I concur. And here we go. The pressure is real. And again, the Ram Slam for Megu for the huge amount of damage, but just cannot continue their onslaught right after it. That's really unfortunate. Like the use of the Ram Slam by Megu has been like 100% up until now, but doesn't give them any type of offense afterwards, unfortunately. And here we go. And TKRN on point with the anti-air, doing a good job of keeping Megu out, and the confirms are definitely there. And then, oh, he tried to bait the burst, but yeah, unfortunately for him. Oh, this is unfortunate. No. And just like this, yeah, this is the last chance for Megu if you want to make a comeback. Oh, my lord. Okay, here we go, Megu. Oh, on the verge, actually, of taking it. Oh, and the empty grab from Megu. That was crazy good. This is the second time that Megu actually does this. It worked the first time on Zeej. This time around, it worked on TKRN. This is definitely very good for them. And, uh, and TKRN just pestering them with the 2S right there. Especially since Megu doesn't really have any answers to this, yeah. Ooh, and the Joe, oh my lord, the double counter hit right there. This hurt a um, ton right there. Caught him flinching a bit. Ooh, and here we go with the confirms of TKRN. He couldn't get the juggle, unfortunately. He did get confirmed the, the. Oh, but here we go with Megu. Oh, my lord, and the 2K right there from TKRN. That was crazy good. I wonder if uh, Testman can actually do this. Here we go. Oh, and no 2S and no 6P right there from Megu. This is unfortunate. Oh, my lord. Oh, this should do. This is gonna do. And just like this, Megu takes the second match. That was crazy good. Well done by Megu. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, yes. Megu did take it. Damn. Well played. She. They stole it. They stole it from us. <laughs> just stealing it. But man, they stole it the best possible way possible seriously that was really well done by megu okay we have two uh we have one round apiece very 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 good we have a match ladies and gentlemen definitely looking forward to it to the rest of this uh, encounter by the way let's see how it goes how it fans out and here we go the air to air to garantine find its mark and pushes megu back on the ground with Positive, but with a frame advantage right there. Here we go, Tikaran, and just running towards his opponent and grabbing, doing a oh, good job of converting this air to air right there into the Axel Bomber. Uh, uh, yeah, Megu just desperately trying to get in and just oh, and actually, man, it just do finally find something. Yeah, but ah, uh, Tikaran not afraid of just pressing buttons right there. Ah, uh, here we go with this. Cycle Storm, I believe you call it. I don't remember exactly how you call it, but yeah. Tikaran using everything in the book to keep Megu out. Really, really well done. Oh, okay, and here we go. Almost got the air to air right there. And you can see Megu, like, doing lots of jumps right above Tikaran, trying to use the the very, very, um, the big reach of the uh, jumping HS to try to stuff any type of anti-airs that Tikaran is trying to swing it their way. Here we go, uh, Megu finally finding an opponent, but cannot convert off of it. This is unfortunate. Oh, here we go, finally something might go in their favor right there. Oh, here we go, the Rekka is Roman Cancel to make sweat, uh, to make uh, safe. But yeah, this is gonna be hard, man. Look at the, yeah, the life difference between TKR and, and no resource, no burst. Uh, Megu, that was basically, yeah, game over for them, unfortunately. Okay, TKR and putting another one on the board. Still not over though. Very well done by 
TKR and that was really, really, really good stuff right there. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, I've been summoned, I think. I've been summoned to a chat. No! What's your problem? Don't summon me. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. If you have a problem, don't hesitate to call on me. Uh, I think I was summoned? Was I though? I don't see anybody needing my assistant for this. Okay. I must imagine things. Anyways, that being said, here we go with TKR and finally, well, not finally, but TKR is still sticking to his game plan of trying to keep Megu out, successfully doing so. Here we go with the uh, jumping K into jump. Bye! Here, oh, and Megu finally finds an opening, but yeah, TKR is so slippery, man. He's so hard to to keep at the same at the same at the same spot you can see Megu really trying their best to try to keep TKRN in place but yeah TKRN wanting to have nothing to do with him just being so slippery oh that that punish on the overhead that was crazy good from TKRN here we go TKRN going a little bit hammered there but that's working in his favor oh my lord and here we go with TKRN yet again Prevent. Oh, and here we go, the Ram Slam from Megu. Oh, finally, finally had something going. And again, no 6P from Megu. Ooh, that might spell death. Yeah, this is probably going to be death, actually. Yeah, this is death. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate for Megu, but... Un that, it works. Please work. Okay, here we go, we're in. Perfect! So, Yamase against Daru, you know, definitely looking forward to this match and immediately to hover into the 6P from Daru, you know, finds it smart, he tried to bait the 6P right there, the burst right there. Firstly, uh, Yamase not biting and and uh, rightfully so, by the way. And Yamase doing a good job of uh, mitigating, uh, not only sending the minion in the direction of Daru, but also forcing and forcing the attacks. <gasps> And just like this, oh, and Yamase almost got it. That was unfortunate. Oh, here we go, and the big, oh, almost got the conversion from Daru. You know, he buried the, oh, oh my lord. Daru, you know, baiting the YRC right there. The reads are there, man. It's crazy. Well done from Daru, you know. Oh my lord, and Yamase this time around trying to use the guard from his, um, from his, uh, his minions. Unfortunately, Darino not biting, man, not biting. Oh, and the march of the Emperor from Darino, man, just like this, he does a raw overdrive command grab into the win. The first match goes to Darino, very well done from Darino, as expected. Nice stuff. Okay, let's see how it goes. Good stuff from Darino, as always, man. It's always a treat to see him play, man. Okay, here we go on to the second match of this set. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and Darino doing a good job of maneuvering over the minion. Oh, he tried to bait the... He tried to bait the, um... The burst from Yamase, but Yamase, yeah, doing a good job of delaying their burst and not uh, getting caught by the, um... Well, by the setup of, uh, of Enos, which is using the stroke to go under uh, the burst uh, active hitbox. Oh, and... Oh, this is gonna... Okay. Oh my lord, and yeah, yeah, Darino just taking it, just taking it, <laughs> well done by him. Let's see if, yeah, Yamase is really suffocating right there, he needs to find a way to reverse the tendency, oh, the big stroke right there goes right underneath Yamase and catches him. Okay, Darino trying to go for a grab right there, missed time probably, wasn't able to uh, get his, oh, and my lord, just, he's just right in the face of Yamase, preventing him from doing anything and the overdrive. For the kill, the second match goes to Darino as well. Extremely convincing play from him, man. I really don't know what Yamase could possibly do in this uh, current uh, situation. It's just too much, man. It's just too freaking much. Let's see how this pans out. That was crazy good, man. Oh, 
Okay, on to the potential final match of this set. Oh, and the conversion from the Sensei. Uh, oh my lord, he even baits the freaking burst, man. Oh, what can Yamase do? What can Yamase do? Oh, and the perfect, just like this Zarino on the freaking set point right there. Oh, and finally Yamase catching the uh, stroke with the 2D right there. Very nicely done. Okay, finally gets something going. Okay, nice conversion from Yamase. Oh, and the dive. Oh, and catches. Darino sleeping a bit right there. Not being, yeah, being a little bit too rash with his uh, attempts to get in. Nice stuff from Yamase. Finally gets something going. Oh, you're oh, oh, just barely gets out of the 6HS uh, range, but very bad predicament for Yamase. He's in the corner right there, and Darino opting to just. Oh my lord! Oh. <laughs> that running animation is so cute. I have to say it. Yeah, and oh uh, yeah, that that was just too much, man. That was just too much with Darino. It would Freaking 3,360 Axel, man. <laughs> Damn, NASA has been grinding his butt off, man. It's crazy. Hopefully, we won't have a disconnection. Both players are in Philippines right now, so my I might be experiencing some lag eventually during. Okay, very nice burst bait right there from NAS. Does a good job of punishing Sunter. Here we go with Sunter finally finding its mark using the stroke right there. Okay, no 6P, unfortunately. And Nas still holding on to his uh, burst, finally lets it pop. Oh, and here with the big snail from uh, from Nas. Okay, nice recognition that this wasn't... Oh, and here we go with Sunter with the reaction overdriver though. Nicely done. Oh, and the run up and grab the signature move from Nas. He loves to do this. Very nicely done by him. Finds the opponent, the opening and takes the first round. Oh, and here with the rainwater and the conversion that goes with it. Very nicely done from Nas. Finds another opening. No, oh, and Nas unfortunately goes. Yeah, yeah he chooses to use the 2K in order to punish the um, sultry performance from uh, from Sunter. Didn't quite get the conversion that he probably expected. Here we go. The the world is he gonna get the conversion? Not quite, but it's still okay. This is some decent, healthy damage. I couldn't get the kill move, the kill hit right there. Oh, and here we go with the back jumping S for the. We're in, we're in, guys. Yes. Finally, here we go with the HCL from Sunter right away, trying to catch the back dashes attempt from Nas. Very nice stuff from oh from Sunter. He was definitely on point right there. Oh, and the rainwater right there, counter hit from Naz, a lot of damage to Sunter. And again, the 2S counter hit for the Schmixes. Oh, a little bit early on the note right there, but still, uh, Naz was, uh, well, as surprised as I was that he was a little bit too early. Oh, and very nice YRC punish right there from Sunter. Could have gotten a little bit better, I think, probably. But it's, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just like chipping away at, the, at small details. And a quick first round right there from Sunther. Let's see if the trend continues again with the HCL right there to catch the uh, jump outs or back dashes attempts of Nash. Ooh, and the sultry performance right there from uh, from Sunther. He couldn't quite hit the mark, but still Nash was a little bit too late for his punish. And ooh, and the wires right there from Nash. Ah, finally causes the burst. It's about time. Nas holding on very, very, very long to his burst attempt. To, to his burst. Finally was forced by Sunter to, well, basically pop it. Okay, here we go. Ah. Oh, very nice stuff from... Thanks for the follow, Fibel, and welcome to the Brojo. Hmm. Oh, and here we go. That was a big standing S counter hit from Sunther right there. He finds its mark. 
And just like this, Nas is in actual dire straits. Winter was a little bit too hungry right there, but oh! Nas on delayed. He was a little bit too late on his punish attempts. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> Ooh, and Nas going for the schmixes. Ooh, soon third. That was crazy good. Very nicely done. And Nas going for... Ooh. Nas really trying to seal the deal. He doesn't have any... Oh no, but yes, we do a little bit too early on his uh, on his burst. He should wait a little bit. Oh, and the panic burst from Nas seals his fate, and Sunther manages to take it. Okay, here we go. One round apiece. That's a match. Hopefully, we won't have a connection error, please. There's no connection errors. That's all I'm asking, please. Please, no connection errors, please. Here, we'll see. Okay, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope it's going to work. Please, no connection error. Please, please, please. Please. Yes. Okay, we have a second one as well. Perfect. Oh, and here we go. The rainwater from Nas. Couldn't hit his mark, actually. This is quite surprising, but the... Oh, and the big stroke conversion right there from Sunter doing actually some pretty good, good stuff right there. Good stuff. And again... Yeah, Sunther trying to catch the jump out attempts of Nas, and Nas refusing to stay on the ground, man. Definitely not liking this uh, this Eno's uh, pressure right here, yeah. Definitely trying to jump out of the corner, but yeah, to no avail. Oh, we were going to run up and grab from Nas, his signature move, if I might say. And just throw to go beneath the, um, the uh, zoning attempts from, ooh, from Nas. A very nice falter performance right there. He wasn't quite able to get anything off of it. Oh, and the triple hover right there. This, yeah, Nas definitely, definitely didn't like this. And soon there's still a little bit early on his notes. He needs to delay it a little bit. And it catches, but the good thing is that it also catches Nash's off guard, which has been the, you know, the, um, the starting point of, uh, of soon there's uh, onslaught. Just like this, Nas manages to put one on the board as well. One round, that is. Oh, there we go again. Nas jumping out and getting caught by the uh, HCL from Sinther. Ooh, here we go. Very nice schmix attempt from Nas. Couldn't quite get, uh, couldn't quite open his opponent. Oh, again, again, Sinther. Okay, yeah, Nas is definitely picking up on the, um, on the uh, stroke attempts of, uh, of, um, of Sinther. And yeah, Nas just puts one on the board extremely quickly and convincingly. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, we'll... Set work. <laughs> okay, will... Uh, will Nas be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Will we get a connection error? We shall see as well. Please, no connections error, please. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh, we did it! We're in! We're in, guys! Perfect! Oh, here we go. Early burst from Sunther, man. Oh, and the rainwater for the punish. He gets the counter hit on it, and Nas trying to get to ever so slightly makes his way out of the corner, trying to gain some uh, some real estate space right here. Real estate? No. Oh, let's see what I mean. <laughs> and here we go with Nas just running straight, trying to instigate some sort of reaction from Sunther, which uh, he successfully does. But unfortunately for him, Sunther finds the opponent, uh, the opening. When the rainwater goes on over, actually goes over Sunther and doesn't hit him. But yeah, a quick reaction from Nas right there to try to press other Abara buttons to try to cover his openings right there. Okay, here we go with Sunther just making his way downtown, <laughs> making his way with little hops, trying to close the gap ever so slightly between him and his opponent. Oh, and again, the snail right there and counter it very nicely. Ah, and this should do, oh my lord, and the... Oh, that was a sick punish from Nash with the perfect this one. Uh, actually, not Mego, I'm sorry. This one's like... And I need to learn how to spell losers, by the way. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, here we go. 
had a, I had a long day. <laughs> and of course they didn't, uh, yeah, they didn't put themselves in the correct... Ah! Oh my lord, just one second guys. Yeah, the name are inverted! Okay. okay, finally, okay, now I got the names corrected and here we go with the 6HS counter hit right there from Yamase. Yamase definitely in the bar right there, but I for Gore actually very a bar as well. Wow, that was a very big sniping attempt right there from Yamase. It actually worked out in the end. Here we go with the IAD HS and Schmick City, which side am I? You are dead. Very nicely done by I for Gore. Gets puts one on the board. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this will pan out. Will Yamase find some sort of momentum shift? We shall see. Hopefully for them, they will. Okay, here we go on to the second match of this encounter. I couldn't quite see the first one, unfortunately, because I was... I was busy trying to solve to uh, actually correct the, the names. Oh, here we got the big DP punish right there from Yamase. Very nicely done. Oh, and that 6HS punish. Very nicely done. He's going to get uh, actually death. Uh, this is death? This is probably death. Uh, it's not death. Yeah, it's not death. But still very healthy damage right there from Yamase on the verge of taking it. Yeah, I forgot literally needs a freaking miracle to make it back from there. From this health uh, difference. Oh, and the big standing S. Counter it right there. Oh, and my lord, and Yamase finding the op opening right there with the uh, the guard point of his minion. Oh, and ooh, the two. Oh, my lord. Using the Goichi tech right there, just jumping 2k, jumping 2k. <laughs> my lord. Okay, and here we go. Oh, I forgot almost managed to take it right there. Ah, and here we go with the Rekas for the win. Chip damage right there. Really well done from I forgot. Ooh, and the jumping H is just barely finding its hit, but actually manages to convert off of it. Very nicely done. Oh, again, this jumping H is doing such a good job of of pestering Yamase off. Oh my lord, and that... This is going to do a lot of damage, actually. Ah! Uh, my lord, I forgot we're completely going hand just jumping and doing IADHS. And even so, he's doing this, but it's working so good and just running straight and doing the 6k! Oh no, and the command grab! It's not gonna kill, but it's gonna be pretty freaking close. Oh, very nice punish right there. Oh, and just like this, Yamase takes it! Oh my lord, that that last second sequence was really, really nicely done by Yamase manages to take it. Is I for Gore going to uh, even things out? We shall see. Very nicely done by both uh, opponents, uh, by both uh, players. Very nice stuff. Okay, just one second, please. Here we go. Oh, here we go. And here we go. Just as I say this, Yamase is doing a good job of... Oh, oh, yeah. See you. Ah, 
Ich dumme Frage, ich gedacht. Hi. Ich muss runtergehen, Geisel. Ne? <lacht> Aber wir müssen hier kaputt. Okay, we're good. Okay, sorry for the wait. Uh, oh my lord, and just like this, I forgot actually manages to put another one on the freaking board. Good stuff from him. That was a very quick round. I'm really sorry I didn't commentate. I had some stuff to uh, attend right now, but it's okay. I'm fully committed right now. On to the next battle it is 2 to 1 for 4 Gore. Currently, let's see if Yamase actually manages to uh, shift the tide of battle shift the momentum right there it's actually entirely going in favor of Forgore. but yeah Miyamasa definitely did uh, did manage to uh, shift it like temporarily but yeah that, that last match was actually pretty hard very nice whiff punch right there with the um the five hs i think anyway we're using the minion to make their way ever so slightly oh and the big dp punish the bait that bait though and yeah just using the Minions to make their ways ever so slightly and punishing the... Ah, uh, no. Oh, that was really well done by Yamase. Oh, is, are they going... Oh, my lord, indeed. Jumping HS counter hit right there. Oh, and again, I for gorgeous going ham and using the command grab and then the regular grab to try to mix things up. Oh. Oh, my lord. Oh, and here we go with Yamase definitely... <laughs> Going ham as well, I think this is the best response you can have when you're fighting a pretty, um, uh, well, basically a pretty, uh, pretty crazy chip player, I suppose, is going ham as well. Yeah, one of the very big traits, best traits of i 4 I believe, is his unpredictability. I'm pretty sure he himself does not really know what he's doing. <laughs> But it's working wonders now. It's going really good. He's going so freaking ham and it's working so good. Okay, here we go with Yamase finally getting something out my lord. I don't even know what the hell is going on. How the hell am I supposed to commentate this? Oh my lord. Oh, here we go with I for Gore. Almost got managed to get the two HS. Oh, conversion off of this. Oh, but oh my lord. Yamase. Not afraid of pressing buttons. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. You are in the corner. You don't want this. Oh, here we go with the Alpha Blade. Oh no, I almost got it. And he got it thanks to the minion. Well done by Yamase. Puts another one on the... My lord, 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two, two, two. <laughs> this match is going to give me a heart attack. It's so freaking... It's really, really clutch, actually. Good stuff from both. Opponent, the next person who uh, wins will take it all. Let's see how it goes. Okay, on to the. This is definitely the final uh, match of this set right here. Let's see who is going to take it. Oh, and here. Oh, my lord. And he baited the DP. The, not the DP, but the burst. Very nicely done by I4Gore. Definitely uh, showing some signs of. Uh, some very, very uh, great signs of awareness. Oh, my lord. Uh, Yamase just calling out the Alpha Blade right there. With the startup, at least. Okay, here we go. Finally, Yama. Oh my lord, to confirm on this, this is gonna hurt. Especially since Ship doesn't have any health at all. As you can see, it just melted away right there. And the grab setup right there. That was wonderfully well done by uh, by Yamase on the verge of taking it. Oh, no punish on this one. Unfortunate. Ooh, here we go. Using the Midian to secure their approach. Very nice stuff from Yamase. Here we go, Yamase mid trying to push I forgot ever so slightly in the corner, but yeah. I forgot just well obviously not uh, biting by this. Here we go, yeah. Uh, Yamase taking a little bit too much space right there, and if he does so he's gonna get a neg negative penalty. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord. Doing a good job of using the minions as a shield. <laughs> That running animation will always get me. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, I forgot I was on the verge of getting killed this time around. And just like this, Yamase takes it. Three, two, they leave a lot to be desired, basically. And here we go. So, this time around is going to be Megu against uh, Nas. So, Megu, a very, very strong... A very strong um, Ram Lethal player. And Nas, as you can see, is already... Well, we already saw his match previously. A very, very strong Axel player. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, there we go. With the zoning from Nas, finally finds an opponent right, right there again with the 2S counter. Head, and this should do. Very nice conversion from Nas. Good stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Very nice recognition from Nasra there. Eventually, we all basically uh, press his button in between the Rekas of Megu and successfully does so. But yeah, unfortunately for him, this time around, Megu definitely tied her in their Rekas. Not willing to um, let anything slip through this time around. Here we go with the positive bonus from Megu, probably trying to farm a little bit of tension before going... Oh my lord, Ram Slam with Punish! Damn, that was a big statement from Megu, definitely not afraid of uh, pressing buttons, basically. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here we go with Nas recognizing that that was the... Uh, the upper uh the, the big sword the, the sword that goes uh higher in the air compared to the other one here we go with the rainwater uh again nas just abusing this 2s man and just it works man it works works so good we were wanting megu to actually jump so that he can anti her uh yeah here we go with the snail oh and the ram slam for the punish definitely not going unnoticed Okay, here we go with the onslaught. Very nice stuff from Megu. This should do actually. Yep, that did. Good stuff from Megu. Takes the first match of this encounter. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, on to the next battle. Let's see if uh, Nas is going to find some adjustments. Or is he only going to be swallowed up by this hurricane that is uh, that is Megu's uh, ram? Let's see. And just like this, the start of the battle, both opponent in neutral. With Megu finding the opening. Okay, try to bait the the, the grab right here. Oh, very nice snail right there from Nas again finds the opponent uh, the opening. Go just pestering Megu with the 2S man. Finally, Ness is forced to DP right there. Try to mitigate the potential huge amount of damage he would have had to face if he didn't. Oh my lord, and the in out, in out from Megu is working wonders right there. This should do good stuff from Megu. Puts one puts one round on the board. Let's see if Ness can adapt. Oh, here we go, and my lord, and Megu just hopping ever so slightly. Try to go over anything that Nas tries to throw at him. Oh, and again, oh, that these punishes on the snail have been really consistent by Megu. Okay, here we go with Nas, currently with the world. And he lost the world, unfortunately. This is unfortunate for him. But he's uh, looking pretty good. Megu is starting to run low on health. Ooh, really, really hungry with them uh, rain waters right there. Oh, there you go. Megu with the full Rekas, but makes it safe by using the Roman Cancel. And just like this, this time around, Nas recognizes the unsafe. Oh, and again, 10 to 10 when it comes to punishing the snail, man. Wow, the raw sword throw right there for- Oh, and even manages to- <gasps> That was 
crazy good from Megu. Managed to bait the... Uh, well, the burst. And get the perfect punish out of it. Just like this, Megu puts one more on the board. It's 2-0 two to zero for Megu. Let's see if, she, uh, if they can seal the deal. Or if... Nas will eventually find some way to uh, change the tide of battle. We shall see. Hopefully, everything is going to be the case. Oh, okay, here we go. On to the next battle. A big counter hit right there from Megu. But unfortunately, the onslaught was was slightly mistimed and uh, Nas was able to catch Migu out of uh, their block string. Here we go, another grab from Nas. Okay, trying to encourage Migu to press buttons right there. Here we go, Rekka. Uh, the Rekka were initiated, but yeah, Migu didn't want to commit to it in case something like this could happen. Oh my lord, and again the snipe of the swords. This is gonna do a lot of damage, especially since Megu has the overdrive. Here we go with the hard knockdown. How is Naz going to deal with all of this? Very nice entire this is might do actually. Ooh, the parading is real, but still manages to take it from the skin of his teeth. Really well done by Nas. Let's see if he can take this run as well and again the grab was baited the grab tech attempt from Nas baited by Megu and boom again the overdrive okay Nas is on dire straight right there my lord and again the grab with the ram slam <laughs> the ram slam I love this attack oh yeah yeah there we go Nas trying to keep distance trying to check Megu Here we go, the rainwater doesn't find its mark, unfortunately for Megu, for Nasa, uh, uh, Megu finds theirs. Here we go again with the, oh, and the empty, go, oh, almost got it! And thanks for the 4S Megu action. Yeah, Revenge or not, hopefully it will. One more drama, give me drama. I'm gonna take this time to uh, check Twitter real quick, because I want to update something. This. This. Good stuff from Yamasa takes the first round. That was actually very, very, very convincing. Good stuff. And I know I'm not gonna. Okay, sorry for the wait. So, wow, and just like this, Yamasa takes the first, uh, the first round actually, the first uh, match actually. Very nicely done by Yamase. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay, we're good. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, here we go. The onslaught for. From, actually. 
from Megumi doesn't really quite pan out on first leg because Yamase is being so slippery, really trying to, well, actually successfully making its way, their way, I'm sorry, um, around, um, well, around uh, Megu's, Megu's attempt to try to control neutral. Here we go again, Ooh, and the Ram Slam finds its mark yet again, man. 10 on 10. <laughs> 10 on 10, man. <laughs> Megu, man. The Ram Slam of Megu, it always hits his mark. It literally, if Megu only used Ram Slam, I'm sure that Megu would win tournaments often, right? <laughs> okay, here we go with Yamase. Wow, getting the full conversion using... Oh, and even the fully charged does is gonna do a lot of damage. All things considered. And here we go, very nice. Very nice. Oh my lord, the pressure is real, man. Where are you supposed to press a button? <laughs> the perfect. The perfect for me, I must say, man. Oh, and we got a Jackal without the mask. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And so here we go, Jackal just playing football right there. Okay, go. Oh, try to uh, beat the burst, but yeah, Megu just altering a little bit the timing of the burst in order not to get too easily read. But unfortunately, gets opened up and, and again a dust. This is gonna do a lot. Of, is it gonna kill? Nope. Unfortunate. Oh, here we go. Ever so slightly. Ah, uh, this is, might be death. Ah, uh, Megu. And no ram slam for Megu this time around. Yamase takes the second match as well. Well done by Yamase. It's still not over there uh, though. There's still one more chance for. Megu to try to reverse the tendency and bring it back. We shall see if it's possible or not. Okay, look, on to the next battle. So is Megu going to be able to reverse the tendency or is... Uh, are they going to drown? Here we go, he would make really trying to pin Yamase down, but Yamase is being so freaking slippery, man. And rightfully so, man. It's not it's not a plate at all. Oh here we go. Oh, and no 6p, but uh, yeah, a close S, which is actually better. Good stuff from Megu. Gonna get the overdrive, good stuff. How is the Okizima going to pan out? Oh, and the bag dash from Yamase catches Megu off guard. Here we go, we're gonna get Elysium. Driver. Wow, and here we go with Yamase trying to be a little bit cheeky right there. Immediately tries to grab his opponent after uh, his jumping attack. Thank you very much for the follow, Twitch Candy, and welcome to the Brojo. Okay, and here we go with Yamase just keeping the onslaught real, man. Oh, and again with the fully charged slot. This has. Dust, I'm sorry. This has been working wonders for Yamase, man. He's doing it really at moments that uh, Megu is really just not expecting it. And it's been working so much in, in their favor, man. Okay, here we go. Finally, Megu gets something going. But just like this, Yamase is recognizing that Megu is in the air together with them. And again, using the RC to slow time down and grab Megu out of the air. Well done by Yamase. Okay, on to the match point. Let's see how it pans out. Oh my lord, and here we go. He forces the burst out of Megu. Megu is completely out of options right now. No more tension, no more burst. Whereas Yamase actually is on the verge of getting his own burst. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh my lord, Megu actually manages to find the opening right there. Oh, 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 that was so clutch. Good stuff from... Oh, that the aerial take though. Good stuff from Megu. Oh, bait the burst, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, oh, and takes it. Good stuff from Megu. Puts one on the board. It's not over till it's over. I always say it. Never count anybody out in these tournaments, man. All of these players are top, freaking top-notch players, man. You should never count anybody out. Good stuff. I have a new message. Just one second, please. I don't actually. Perfect. I'm good. Okay, here we go. So, on to the next battle. Actually, we have two to one. Okay, good. So, let's see. 
No, my lord. And yeah, just Yamas and Nonafri are just running towards Mago, man. Even though you might not want to uh, get too close to uh, Q2 Ram Lethal in normal times. Oh, but I'm saying this, but actually that does make sense. You don't want to be too far either because the reach of... Oh, and the burst has been baited. And adequately punished right there from Megu. My lord, the onslaught is real. Megu just woke up to the ultra instinct state right now. I'm just resorting to a pommel Yamase right now. Why? Here we go. Good stuff from Megu. Definitely being a lot more aggressive, a lot more um, active in this matchup. Not trying to like whiff punish him, but just going ham, man. This is doing a <gasps> boom in your face. <laughs> no more health for you, Yamase. What are you gonna do? Oh my lord, the, the pressure is real. Ah, the pressure is real. Ah! Yamase, you don't have anything. Oh, and the grab. No, the grabber got grabbed. Oh, you're going. Oh! And the dust got successfully blocked this time around. Megumi actually putting one on the board as well. We have a match 2 to 2. This is freaking clutch. Damn, Megumi bringing it back, man. Not afraid. Not afraid at all. Good stuff from Megumi. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, on to this is the final match of this set. Let's see how this goes. Is Megumi going to be able to bring it back completely? Like she was there, they were down to two, but now things are actually looking pretty decent for them, eh? Okay, here we go. Yeah, but Yamase focusing definitely. Taking less risks, more risks. This is not working quite well in the favor of Yamase, to be honest. Oh, and here we go with the low, not the low, with the standing S actually catches. Uh, good stuff. Ah, uh, man, the pressure is real, man. What are you supposed to do? And here we go, the football. And just like this, actually, oh my lord, Yamase actually trying to bring it back. Oh no! I'm man. I'm. I'm. It's so clutch. Like I. Oh, oh no! You got baited. You got your baited. Ah. 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 Megumi doesn't really know how to deal with the minions, man. Okay. This. Oh, and the sword throw for the win. And here we go, Megu with game point right there. Was on the verge of getting eliminated. Just like this brought it back, man. Okay, here we go. Finally managed to kill the minion this time around. Very nice recognition that Yamase was gonna go for the... Oh! For the cross of this time around, it actually works. Ah, but Megumi being impatient yet again. Got dusted this time around. This is gonna do... Oh, okay, and no overdrive this time around, unfortunately. Ow, oh, and the HS for the entire... This is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not death yet, but the dust for the win. Well played. Yeah, let's see how this goes. This is actually the final round of the final match, man. The one who takes it, takes it all. This is crazy. Oh my, this is so clutch. Oh, and the back dash. Oh. Oh my lord. Oh, and the far S, man. Oh. Finally, both opponents don't have burst, but actually Megu is about to get uh, their own burst. My lord. Oh my lord. Ah, oh, this is so clutch, man. Ooh, and Megu managed. Not Megu. Yamase managed. Oh, and yeah, this is... This is gonna be clutch. Oh, this is starting to look pretty good for Yamase. Ah. Uh, oh, and the dust for the win. That was so clutch. And Yamase... Yeah, exactly. You got it. You got me. You got me. He has a better win rate against uh, Tikuren than uh, vice versa. Exactly, that's what I uh, wanted to say. And you successfully understood why I was trying to say thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. Okay, that being said... Oh my lord. What did I do? Here we go. And here we go! Just like this, we have started the match. Just as I... We have started it. Dario on with a freaking statement. A perfect on TKR and son, man. That was really quick. Uh, that was really quick. And here we go with Daru getting zoned by TKRN. But yeah, Daru just making his way ever so slightly, man. 
Oh, my lord, just preventing him from getting out. No siree, you are staying in the corner whether you like it or not. Here we go with the overdrive and immediate kill from Naru. <laughs> that was so quick. What the hell do you want me to commentate with the round like last fight? 15 seconds, man. It's crazy. Good stuff from Naru takes it quite convincingly. First match of this set. Let's see if the trend continues or if Dikiran is going to be able to find some make some adjustments and bring it back. We shall see. Oh man, that was pretty good. Oh, Gary, go. Ah, please, please, no connection errors, please. Yes, perfect. I like it when the game doesn't have connection errors. Gary, go with the jumping heavy from Daru. You know, immediately get put, gets put in the corner, though. But yeah, Tigarin Sun trying to, yeah, use the uh, standing. P to try to, yeah, basically keep Darino on the floor, doesn't want him anywhere else. Oh, Gary, oh, Daru with the air to air maneuver right there. Wow, oh, and Daru going ham with them, uh, them strokes, man. Oh, that bad grab attempt from Tikorin, and just like this, Tikorin loses this round, and Daru takes it. Ah. Oh my lord. Tikaran, yeah, trying to like test a lot of various different things that could like keep Dar out, I suppose. Oh Gary go finally. I think he's trying to find a bit of the um the rhythm he's supposed to to adopt right now. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go. Finally found something. Ah and this should do, yeah, this is definitely gonna be this is it. That snipe though. <laughs> Good stuff from Tikaran is. Okay, one round of peace. The one who takes it, takes it all. Ah, and unfortunate for Tikaran. He had the bad, the wrong read. <gasps> and the conversion from Daru. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff from Daru. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, just, oh, both opponents like trading blows for blows, man. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tikaran noticing that that Daru takes to... <gasps> oh, my lord. That punish was godlike. <laughs> Oh my lord! Why are she blocked and immediate, immediate overdrive command grab from Daru? That punish was sick, sick. I feel like I need a shower. Oh my lord, that was crazy good. That was crazy good from Daru, as expected from him. Oh my lord, <gasps> that was crazy good. Okay, on to the next battle. Okay, so potential final match of this encounter. Oh my lord, and the recognition from Daru. I'll wow, try to bait them burst right there, but yeah, I think you are not biting for a very good reason. Here we go, you can see TKRN trying to check them uh, over attempts from Daru. Oh, that. Oh, and the 6P from Daru. Already TKRN in the corner has to make his way out if he wants to stay alive. And he managed to do so. So, okay, let's see if he can take it. Oh, my lord, the stroke. Okay, here we go. This, this is going to be hard, though. <laughs> Full meter, yeah, full meter axle against uh, no meter, you know, is yeah, bad news for you know, obviously. Okay, here we go with Daru, you know, ah, trying to make his way ever so slightly close to TKR, and he doesn't want to give him any sort of uh, any sort of space. You obviously don't want to give Axel space. Okay, here we go with yeah, Tikar and maneuvering extremely well this time around. When the instant overhead, well, it's not so much an instant overhead. Oh, and the, oh my lord! Here we go, Daru smelling blood. Ah, and the standing K of Tikaran for the win. Very nice patient from him. Okay, finally Tikaran putting one on the board. Let's see if uh, he can manage to put another one. That would be pretty sweet. I want to see um, 
I want to see an upset today. I want to see an upset. I definitely want to see an upset. Okay, on to the next battle. This is the third match. Tigaran needs to win two matches in a row if he wants to go in the grand finals. Oh, here we go. Both opponents trying to test. Well, you get a feel of uh, neutral red there with ah, Tigaran getting immediate. Oh my lord, the burst has been baited. The burst has been baited. Abort! Abort mission! Go down, oh my lord. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my, but the defense of Tikaran is also godlike, man. It's godlike, seriously. Like, I don't even understand how he manages to block so consistently. But eventually, yeah, ends up getting killed. But it's, it's still, it's still really quite a feat in itself to be able to, um, to block that many phases in a row. Here we go. The onslaught is real. Darino spelling blood. He's gonna get the wall splat. Uh, oh my lord, and the MT low for the wall breaks. It's not gonna kill by any means, but yeah, Karen is in dire straits right now. And the HCL for the win, Daru Eno. Moving on to our losers final is gonna be TKR and against Yamase Go. Two extremely proficient and skilled players of their respective characters. TKRN actual against Yamase. Jacko, a character that we seldom see, to be really quite honest. So it's always refreshing to see new characters make their ways to uh, top eights. Oh, here we go with the 2k 2d for the knockdown by TKRN. Uh, here we go, unfortunately for TKRN, he tried to kill one of these minions but got hit by Yamase during his recovery. Okay, Tikaran trying to keep or well, to uh how's it called? Trying to weather any type of approach that Yamase might employ in order to close the gap between them and my lord, I didn't even see Tikaran using the uh, command grab and he still managed to do it. And the burst has been baited! <laughs> Good stuff from uh Tikaran. Takes one round. Oh my lord, them aerial grabs, that was crazy good, very well done by Tikaran. Oh, he got the conversion, ah, he couldn't get the wall uh, break, unfortunately. Oh, this is gonna do it, this is gonna do it, yeah, this is gonna do it. Well done by Tikaran, take the first match of this encounter, let's see if he can continue this trend. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, perfect. Okay, moving on to the next battle. Oh, again, here we go back to the zoning from Tikaran. Really doing a good job of keeping Yamase out, man. It's great. Here we go, yeah. Sending it, sending P, sending P. Okay, but yeah, Yamase did find their way in. The wrist bar is getting a little bit. Ah, but yeah, man, Tikar not afraid. Oh my lord, he did it! The burst punish with the fully charged dust. This is the signature move of Tikar, and he loves to do this. And here we go with the standing P for the anti-air. Very nicely done by Tikaran. Takes the first round. Tikaran finally in the corner, but Yamase mistimed there. Two Ds wasn't able to connect. Oh, tried to go for a fully charged dust. Fortunately for them, Tikaran was aware of it and did and successfully blocked basically. And here we go, we are in the minion. Minion hell. Oh my lord, what the hell is going on? Oh my lord! I got hit. I definitely got hit. I have no idea what happened. Oh, that was crazy. Very nice stuff from Yamase. Here we go with the aerial grab. Oh, and that bag that from TKRN. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Very nice 2D right there for me. I must say, could find it smart. You got the... Oh, and the juggle with the minion was OD. Very nicely done. Oh, no TV, uh, no two, 6k, uh, no 6, 6p right there. That's unfortunate for him, I say. Okay, back to the neutrality here and back to zoning space. And the big 2s counter hit into the world. That should be the end. Yeah, this is definitely the end. Well played by Tigger and takes another match. Two in a row. Yamase now is down two matches. He needs fighting Yamase or Jacko these days is like last can. Where is all this tech and damage coming? I have no idea, man. But it's crazy, man. Like, if you get caught in the corner and you have to deal with the combo that Yamase just did to Tigger and just before. I'm pretty sure you're gonna die, whatever happens, <laughs> whatever the outcome. Yeah, you're definitely gonna die. I, I see nobody, I see absolutely nobody like blocking all of these, uh, all of these mixes, man. That was crazy, man. Okay, here we go. Very nice 2k, 2d from Yamase, but Tikaran definitely not stranger to, uh, very tight, uh, pressure. Ah, uh, here we go with, yeah, but Tikaran really just jumping back and using the, t the, the jumping S. Extremely efficiently, just pestering, pestering Yamase, encouraging him to jump, and then uh, to that endeavor, just ends up like entering him. It's really, really crazy. Well, oh my lord, yeah. Ah, Tikaran's so freaking clean, man. So clean. Good stuff. Finally, Yamase finds an opponent, and my lord, just with the standing P, like. TKRN eradicated every single minion that was on screen. There were like three of them. Killed them all in one. Just like a shish kebab. Okay, here we go. Good grab right here from Yamase. And the 2S for the win. Well done. Okay, and on to mat uh to yeah, match point actually. Oh my that delay was unfortunate for Yamase. Can get his meaty correctly and the cycle storm for protection. Again, cycle storm. Oh my lord, yeah, here we go. The minion onslaught is real. Ah, oh, but yeah, must have been too late for his uh, minion activation. That was unfortunate. Oh, he did get the. Oh my lord, look at the conversion though. Oh, he's gonna get the overdrive. It's not gonna kill. No, he's gonna kill. This is death. Yeah, this is death. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I didn't lie. I didn't lie. Okay, here we go. TKR and find its mark. This is match point still. Well, set point actually. Okay, here we go, Yamase put one minion on the war. Let's see if he can schmix. Very nice grab right there. Again, the grab. Oh, and the Samurai resorts to using close S right there for counter it. This is death. This is death. No! No! Yamase, you let him you let him live. You have not finished your fromage. Ah, uh, you don't want Tikaran to live. Ah! Uh, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. You must say. You must say. No. Oh, oh, oh! That snipe. That snipe. That dunk. Oh, that dunk was got like well played by Yamase. He managed to take it by throwing his minion in the face of TKR. And that was freaking clutch. Good stuff from uh from Yamase. That was really good, man. That was really, really good. Okay, still not over till it's over. Yamase may do a comeback. It's not over. I was almost choked. Yeah, man. It was crazy. Almost choked, yeah. Holy freaking lord. And here we go with the 2S. Ah, and immediately Yamase gets put on the ground. And even worse than that, puts uh, gets put in the corner. Okay, but yeah, thankfully for them, they were able to switch places with the grab. Using the grab. And the burst bait yet again. Ah, you can feel that. Yeah, Tikiron definitely feeling himself using uh, the command grab a lot more often. Yeah, definitely not afraid. Definitely not like a dampered 
by the fact that Yamase made a pretty uh, nice comeback, a clutch one actually. Oh, and the attempted grab by Yamase got adequately punished by Jigeron, and just like this, we're back at set point. Okay, no snail from Tikiaran. Right, here we go, Yamase. Unfortunately, six piece a little bit too early. Oh my lord. Oh, and yeah, man, the onslaught is real. And the confirms, man, the confirms from Tikiaran not using Roman Cancel except when he hits the opponent. It's crazy, man. Damn confirms from uh from uh from TKRN have been crazy good. Oh, but yeah, don't count my lord. What the hell was that? What the hell was that combo? That was awesome. That was really really awesome. Now oh, yeah, but yeah, things are looking pretty dire for Yamase, and just like this, TKRN takes it three two. Eno, the Eno master against TKRN, the actual master. Words would have you think that the matchup is in favor of Axel, but Daru Eno certainly does not make it feel that way. And here we go, both opponents start the match as soon as possible. Okay, let's see. very nice interrupt by TKRN. Very nicely done. Here we go, my lord, and the close S counter hit from Darino. He got a lot of damage right there, and this is gonna take it. Not even needed the overdrive, he just needed a fully charged dust. This is all that was required. Here we go. The oh, and the big S counter hit from Tikiran. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Tikiran has, you know. Ah, uh, he had Darino in the corner, but unfortunately for him, Darino just way too much to handle. You are not putting me in the corner, my lord, and the, like, the delayed over from Darino, man. This is cheeky play from him, and as long as it's working, why should he change? Here we go, with, yeah, with TKRN trying to, like, yeah, basically pinpoint and uh, snipe Darino out of the air. He doesn't want him to be in the air because Darino has, uh, has access to several like momentum changing uh um well basically um tools such as like the uh sultry performance and the grab man oh my lord and the burst has been baited the first match goes to daru ino as quickly as that very nicely done okay, let's see if this trend can continue or if tkrn is going to find some way to reverse the tendency reversed the what am I saying? Anyway, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Is Darino going to be able to continue this trend and win this tournament or not? <clears throat> On to the second match. And Darino immediately just over his man. But wow, very clutch grab from Tigeran. Grabbing the 8 version of the stroke right there. And Darino, yeah, using the HL extremely efficiently to, uh, well, basically strike Tikaran out out of the uh, out of the air. Oh my lord! And here we go. The burst got baited yet again. This is gonna be a full combo into the overdrive into death. But yeah, death. My lord, the damage! Wow, that damage was ungodly. <laughs> Good stuff from oh, good stuff from Dower, you know. Oh, okay. Milo going with the resets and everything in the book. And look at that, man. Tikaran, it feels like Tikaran didn't have any time to do anything up until Henry like, really goes with the Roman Castle is gonna do, yeah. Well played, and just like this, we are on tournament point. <laughs> that is so freaking quick. That was so quick. Just like this, man. Darino extremely, like, uh, the pressure from Darino has been uncanny, man. And yeah, just too much to, uh, too much to handle for, uh, for, for, well, for Darino, for, for TKRN, basically. So let's see how this pans out. Is, uh, TKRN going to find, like, the magical solution to, like, completely change the outcome of this, uh, of all of this, basically. 
Ah, uh, my lord. What? Lord, the jumping S to punish the entire attempts of TKR. Oh, my lord. Almost got the conversion, by the way. Oh, he tried to bait the burst right there. Here we go. Yeah, Tikaran just making his way ever so slightly. Oh, he tried to punish the... Oh, no, you press a button. Oh, my lord. Did you see the freaking... Oh. Did you guys see the defense of that man? The defense of that dude. My lord, because yeah, yeah, of course the onslaught of Darwin is extremely impressive, but did you guys see how freaking solid DKRN is? Oh my lord. But yeah, yeah, unfortunately for him he got open. And just like this we are on tournament point for Daruino. Let's see how this pans out. Is T oh yeah. If Tikaran has to make a uh a comeback, it has to come right now. Oh my lord, he got open this time around, but an empty low. Things are looking pretty dire for him, to be honest, not gonna lie. And here we go with Darino with the walk of Graeme. Oh my lord! And just like this...